Welcome to part two of the video in which we find shear and moment diagrams for beams that are loaded with both distributed and concentrated forces. In part one, we found the shear diagram for the beam that we had a, um, where did it go? We had a, uh, uh, a distributed force upwards and then we had two concentrated forces downwards, one at two feet of 8,000 pounds and one at 14 feet of 8,000 pounds. We found in that situation that this is what the uh, shear force diagram looks like. And now we want to find the uh, bending moment diagram. And we do this by remembering that m of x is the integral from zero to x v of x prime dx prime. So um, let's just go ahead and, and do this. Uh, between 0 and 2 feet, uh, my v of x just looks like this. It's got a slope of 1,000 pounds per foot. So I can write down um, that uh, between 0 and x, oh, I'm sorry, between 0 and 2 feet, if x is between 0 and 2 feet, then I have m of x is the integral from 0 to x of v of x prime, which is 1,000 pounds per foot times x prime dx prime. And when I work out this integral, I get that this is 500 pounds per foot times x squared. Okay, so for the case where x is between 2 and 14, I can do the same thing. I'll have Oh, I'm sorry, x is between 2 and 14. don't know what got into me there. So for this situation, we have m of x will be equal to m of 2 plus the integral from 2 feet to 14 feet, actually this should be 2 feet, of v of x prime dx prime. So m of 2 feet, we discover, is um, let's see, that would be uh, 2,000 uh, foot pounds. V of x prime between 2 feet and four f 14 feet, this guy here is, um, let's see, 1,000 pounds per foot times x prime. minus 8,000 pounds. Okay, so I integrate this from 2 feet to 14 feet. Plug this guy 2,000 feet or foot-pounds in here. And when I do that and do all the simplification, I get that mx is going to be uh, 500 uh, pounds per foot x squared minus 8,000 pounds times x plus 16,000 foot-pounds. Okay, so that gives me mx between uh, 2 feet and 14 feet. The last thing to do is find mx between um, 14 feet and 16 feet. So
So in this region, we'll have mx is equal to m of 14 feet plus the integral from 14 feet to x of v of x prime dx prime. m of 14 feet is um, 2,000 foot-pounds. Uh, this v of x prime is, uh, where'd that go? It's a thousand pounds per foot times x, or x prime minus 16,000 pounds. So that's what I'm integrating here. This is in the integral. And so I work this all out and I get that m of x is 500 pounds per foot x squared minus 16,000 pounds times x plus 128,000 foot-pounds. Okay, so there we have it. And again, the tricky bits here, the hard part, is actually working out all these integrals and doing all the algebra and getting it right. So if we go to the plot of this, I've plotted v of x here, and now I've plotted m of x as I've just computed it. And you can see that it's composed of three parabolic sections. I go from 0 to 2. And again, 2 is where one of my discrete forces are. Then I go from 2 to 14. 14 is where the other discrete force is. And then I go back to 16. And you can see that the slope of m is equal to v at a particular value of x. So the slope starts out low and gets bigger, which you hear the slope starts out low, and uh, this is the slope, so it's low and gets bigger. Then the slope goes really negative, which is what happens here. And the slope gets uh, less and less negative t until it becomes zero. And the slope of zero corresponds to this point down here. This, by the way, corresponds to the uh, point with the maximum magnitude of the bending moment. And then as the slope gets positive, we go back up, and then the slope becomes negative again, and we go back down. So hopefully this has been helpful. This is how you compute the shear moment and bending moments when you have a situation where you have both distributed forces and discrete forces on a beam. So hopefully this has helped. Thanks for watching.